Hey, how you doing guys? Uh, it's been three or four weeks uh, since I made my last video. Uh, I've been sick during that time and of course um, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year which kept me busy as well and then my four-year school or my four-year-old being out of school all those three th uh, things kind of threw a wrench and things for a while but I am back and for this video I wanted to talk about Apple's um, um, 2019 Mac Pro specifically at the Apple Afterburner card since it's been released last month to get any more information about it and um, also some of the uh, reviews on the card and people actually using it to see how it works out fortunately uh, something that I uh, can't afford perhaps uh, in the far future when uh, on the used market or something like that uh, that'd be great so um, of course, the, uh, the Afterburner card by Apple is uh, something similar to what um, the Red Rocket card from uh, Red is. It kind of decodes uh, for playback up to three streams of 8K simultaneously, multi-cam situation. It is currently supported in as far as Apple in uh, Final Cut Pro 10, Motion and Compressor. As yeah, so a few other ones as well, such as I believe Apple QuickTime or something like that. Now they said they are going to support, uh, support third-party applications. No reports of this time that which one is going to be. Now I think DaVinci Resolve has been mentioned that they are going to give support. I don't know if it's right now or in the near future. And uh, which I love to use myself. And so I wanted to see if the possibility of not just uh, decoding and playback, but encoding as well. And I, I got excited because I know it's supported in compressor, which is used for encoding video. So I, I'm going to show you that right now. And this is a compressor uh, 445. It uh, added support uh, as far as improves performance of ProRes and ProRes RAW decode. Uh, using the afterburner card on the uh, 20, uh, 2019 Mac Pro. So now here obviously it doesn't mention encoding, but I am hearing um, it is supporting, or people have used the app, uh, afterburner card have been reporting that they're seeing faster exports times. So while it doesn't encode, um, basically I think how it works is um, the video files have to be decoded first before they are re-encoded and uh, depending on your codec and other things. Now the decoding is still done, done by the afterburner card during the export procedure and that frees up the uh, GPU and CPU for encoding. So that's how it kind of still speeds it up, even though it may not uh, encode during final render and export. So um, that is still good. You're, just sort of, you're still getting more performance even during export, um, at least in that way. Now, also found some out some very uh, in, useful information as well, and I'm going to bring that up. Uh, for you here in just a second and um, we're going to flip that here oh there you go because I've been having troubles um, with this I'm going to show you that now sorry about that this is a new <laughs> this is a new I'm using actually OBS studio uh, simply because the old version of Wirecast doesn't work anymore for me, not supported. You can use up to three Apple Afterburner cards in the 2019 Mac Pro, which is great news because you're going to see you can, uh, for future upgrades, you can increase the performance even faster. So, what is that going to mean exactly for the end user? I think that's going to mean that theoretically, uh, let me see that six, seven, eight, nine, you can. Get, uh, theoretically should be able to get up to 9 8K uh, video playback simultaneously. Okay, like I said, theoretically, or possibly even one or two streams of 16K in the future, perhaps once cameras and video files get that large. 
So that's still great news. There's a way you can uh, increase performance just simply by adding more cards. So um, great news on the Apple front uh, for the 2019 or 2009 Mac Pro. So uh, as always, thanks for watching and see you guys later.